Assalamu alaikum my dear students, hope you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIBS Home School. This is Muhammad Indadul Haq, Assistant Teacher of Mathematics, National Ideal English Version School, Deshit. Dear students, today I am going to conduct a math class of class 2. Our today's topic is Division Part 1. Okay dear students, uh, at first let us know what is Division. Dear students, Division means the short process of subtraction short process of subtraction suppose i'm writing 20 is a number 20 is a number if we subtract 4 from 20 we'll get 16 now again subtract 4 from 16 we'll get here 12 subtract 4 again from 12 you'll get here that is 8 subtract 4 from 8 you will get 4 again subtract 4 for from from 4 you will get 0 it means that how many times we have subtracted 4 from 20 1 2 3 4 5 times we have subtracted 4 5 times from 20 it means that this subtraction will take uh, many time and it will be uh, a lengthy process and just if we want to shorten this one then we can apply a technique that is we can divide 20 by 4 directly we will get 5 directly we will get 5 5 will be our quotient and our remainder will be 0 remainder will be 0 so we can say division is the short process of subtraction division is the short process of subtraction okay dear students let us see how can we uh, do division dear students in this first class of division just we will learn how can we divide a number by a single digit number to so divide a number by a single digit number just we need the just we need to know the times table for the division we need to know the times table okay dear students in case of division if we notice here now suppose 20 is a number if we divide 20 by 4 we will get 5 here 5 4 sir 20 we can write and here will be 0 the number which i divided the number which is divided is known as dividend the number by which division is done is known as divisor after the number after the division the obtained number after the division is known as quotient and the remaining number at last of the division this remaining number is known as remainder so we know the number name of the numbers in case of division now the number which is divided that is known as dividend the number by which division is done is known as divisor the number obtained after division that is quotient and the number remaining after the division the remaining number is known as remainder okay dear students here in every case uh, the dividend is given this is dividend and this is divisor we need to divide dividend by the divisor so we say the time table of divisor time table of divisor so the divisor is 3 here so the divisor is 3 here say the time table of 3 now say 3 0 sir, 0 3 1 sir, 3 3 2 sir, 6 3 3 sir, 9 3 4 are 12 so if we say the time table of 3 up to 4 we'll get here 3 4 are 12 so this is our obtained dividend and this is our divisor so quotient will be 4 so we can write here 4 we can write here 4 as there is no remaining here this must so we can write here quotient is therefore quotient equal to 4 and there is nothing remaining here so we can write remainder equal to 0 as nothing remaining so we can write the answer of this question here quotient 
equal to 4 and remainder is 0 okay dear students now let us see the next question next question is 20 divided by 5 we need to divide 20 by 5 so uh, 5 is the divisor so we have to say the times table of 5 so we can say 5 0 sir 0 5 1 sir 5 5 2 sir 10 5 3 sir 15 5 4 sir 20 so we can say 5 4 sir 20 so here divisor is 5 dividend is 20 4 is the question so we can write here 4 as 5 4 sir 20 this is dividend this is divisor so 4 as 5 4 sir 20 so 4 will, 4 will be the question it means if we can divide 20 uh, by 5 4 times so uh, we can write here 4 so we can write here quotient is quotient 4 and remainder remainder quotient remainder here remainder spelling is mistake remainder so we have to write here remainder is zero now go to the next question what is the next question next question is question three these two division are known as uh, horizontal division and now i'll show you the vertical division so we can divide by four so four is the divisor as four is the divisor we have to say the times table of four now four zero are zero four one zero four four two are eight four three are twelve four four are sixteen four five are twenty four six are four six are twenty four four seven are twenty eight four eight are thirty two so we can write up to eight four times table of four up to eight so 4 8s and 32 we can write here 0 and this is our quotient this is our remainder so we can write quotient is quotient equal to 8 remainder equal to 0 okay dear students so we can write the answer uh, write the answer here quotient 8 and remainder zero the students i did not write the answer of question 2 you can write quotient equal to 4 and remainder that is equal to 0 so we can write here quotient 8 remainder 0 okay dear students let us see our last question today last question is question 4 we need to divide 42 by 6 and so 6 is the divisor so we have to say the times table of 6 say the times table of 6 6 0 is 0 6 1 is 6 6 2 is 12 6 3 is 18 6 4 is 24 6 5 is 30 6 6 is 36 6 7 is 42 so we have to say the times table of 6 up to 7 so we can write here our quotient will be 7 as 6 7 is 42 we can write here 42 and if we subtract we will get 0 so this 7 is known as our quotient and 0 is our remainder so we can write here quotient quotient equal to 7 and remainder equal to 0 so we can write the answer quotient that is 7 and remainder that is zero okay dear students so i hope you have understood the process of division and you learn from this class if you face any problem then you can contact with me uh, over my phone number and you can contact with me in messenger okay dear students uh, keep practicing at home and do your homework properly uh, this is your homework homework 24 uh, i have given four questions one two three 
4. These are 4 divisions given for your homework and this homework is given for the vacation of Idul Fitr. Okay, dear students. So, keep practicing at home, abide by your parents, stay home, stay safe, see you again, till then, Assalamu Alaikum.